Abu Dhabi Dude! Hello, this is Abu Dhabi Dude. Welcome back. And it's been a little while since my last video, but, um, but today's quite a good one, I think. Um, today we're off on a road trip, but that's not what the video is about today. Uh, what my wife doesn't know is I cunningly planned the road trip around the charging stop today. Um, so we are going to use an... <sighs> thought I might get away with that today, <laughs> since I'm probably not going to mention a teeny tiny bladder at any point in this video. But, <laughs> but apparently I'm not going to get away with it. So, um, today we're going to use an engine charger which I've done loads of times before I know, but this one's a little bit different because the other day through the post I got this um, I don't know if you can make that out but it's Octopus's uh, Electric Juice RFID card um, and it's Octopus Energy's way of trying to prevent this nonsense this is my wallet just for charging cards um, which is ridiculous so Octopus have come up with this system where you get this uh, Octopus Energy card uh, electric juice card as they call it and you can charge at public charges and it gets billed to your home electricity account so basically the idea is that it's one card fits all. Now at the moment, all they've got signed up to, uh, well the only one that's of any real use to me is Engini, but they've also got, I believe, Franklin Energy and, is it Chargely I think, which is a primarily London based charging company. But it is new, I don't know if you noticed on the card, but under my name it says Beta Tester. So um, it's only in beta at the moment for people who who are in their beta program so uh, there's quite a few of us I know Gary's got one and uh, I think Andrew Till had one as well I seem to recall um, uh, EV Nick I think was saying he had one loads of people have got them so it's not that exclusive a club um, but I'm however non-exclusive it is I'm in it so we are gonna just go for a day out to Dunbar um, to a country park near there which is not going to feature in the video at all today uh, we're just going to do the charging video so um, as I say it's all very clever um, if it works fingers crossed but um, basically it just means that uh, the idea being that as more companies sign up to it eventually you can just have your octopus energy card uh, electric juice card and it will be billed to your home electricity bill so they'll just take the payments out of your electricity account it's an interesting idea um, and it's going to be cool to see how it works now obviously at the end of the video I'm not going to be able to show you my electricity bill um, but I'll cut in an example of, of how Octopus Energy show it working just so you can see but basically that's today's video we're going for a day out you're not for a change and uh, you're going to come with us to the charger and see octopus electric juice in action um i think it's only i assume it's only well i must uh, i'm not even gonna finish that sentence it is only for electric uh, for octopus energy's electricity customers obviously um so if you do want to join up there's a link in the description down below uh, if you sign up via that link, you'll get 50 quid and I'll get 50 quid. So everyone's a winner. Um, they'll credit 50 pounds to your and my electricity accounts, uh, which now can go towards the making of these videos by paying for the charging. So uh, if you are going to sign up for o Octopus, then feel free to use my link. If you don't know much about Octopus, I'll stick a link up the top of the screen now. Uh, if you click on that link, take you to a video I made quite a while ago about uh, Octopus's Go tariff for EV users. They also do an Agile tariff which um, is more flexible and it basically adjusts your pricing throughout the day 
in line with the cost of the wholesale cost of electricity um, which is really good you can actually save a lot and sometimes you can even get paid to use electricity but for me I prefer the gold tariff because it's a fixed cheap rate for four hours per night um, whereas to take advantage of agile you, you have to charge at lots of different times now if you've got an ohm electric charger you can use that to uh, automatically switch on when it falls below a certain price but my charger isn't capable of that so I would have to manually set it for different times every day I'd have to go on the internet check what the prices are over the next 24 hours program my charger to come on at those times etc etc oh, don't know what this is about but clearly a lot of people are very proud about being Scottish so I'll flash the lights I'm not sure if it's a good thing though it could be some kind of political statement who knows but I've just been nice and flashed my lights didn't hurt um, anyway moving on yes yeah, so they do uh, the agile tariff as I say for my charger it would be a lot of faffing around to take advantage of it and I would be you know constantly changing the timings on my charger every single day um, which is a bit of a pain so I went for go which is four hours cheap rate per night works for me um, Andrew Till did a really good video, um, uh, Mr. EV, on his channel, showing a comparison of his electricity bill if he'd used Go versus Agile. And it did show that if he'd used Agile, he would have saved money. But obviously, that varies throughout the year. Um, so, it, it, but on that particular month, he would have saved about five pounds. Now, for me, Octopus is incredibly cheap. I'm not going to lose sleep over that £5 and my charger can't really cope with it so it would cause me a lot of extra effort to save £5 a month which to be honest you know with Octopus with charging up I'm already saving probably around £40 per month uh, on my monthly charging costs if I was just on versus if I was just on a normal sort of 14-15p per kilowatt hour tariff so Go is perfectly good for me um, but they also do Agile that link uh, works for both so if you're going to sign up it would be much appreciated if you use the link anyway stick around and uh, when we get to the charger I'll be back and we'll see how it goes fingers crossed for a smooth and painless experience my hopes are high for this because it is octopus and their customer experience really is second to none in my personal opinion so uh it's not take it's not often i get excited about an electricity utility company so that should give you an idea of how good they are anyway i will see you at engine Okay, as promised, here we are at the uh, Old Faithful, the Engine Charger. Unusually, this site is the Pine Martin pub. It's a Marston's pub, as usual, for Engine. But unusually, there's only one charger on site. Usually, they have two at these uh, Marston pubs. No big deal, there's nobody using it. But let's get going and see how well this works. Okay, fingers crossed. It is as painless as I really want it to be, but uh, I guess time will tell. Okay, so open my charging flap. Must remember to close it again when I go. Octopus card. Okay, so we'll go through the process now. Let's uh, tap the screen to get it going. We'll press on RFID card. Hold my octopus card up. Authorised. CCS. Oops. Connect the car up. Okay. Oops. Step over the, the wire. And start. And then we're waiting 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 starting I've got blue lights there I don't know if you can make that out but we got blue lights there just waiting for confirmation it's 
suppose I could move so that I can see the car if it produces a green light but let's just stick to here where we can see the screen it is starting 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 and there we go charging there we go how easy was that um, so what happens now is it charges that to my um, oops, sorry walked straight past the car there charges that to my home uh, electricity account and then it gets added to my next bill um, now the one thing I'll say is uh, there we go one thing I'll say is it's a bit of a pity in a way that the first sort of national uh, company that they've got to sign up to this is Engine because Engine are actually simple to use anyway in fact I can pay for them with my Apple Watch so all I have to do is tap my Apple Watch on the card reader um, to pay with Engine anyway so it doesn't really reduce hassle in that sense the Octopus card um, and if everyone adopted that and didn't charge extra for the privilege I'd be able to use my watch for everything but this if everybody signs up um, then that is going to prove really useful it certainly was really simple to start it uh, no hassle first time uh, the usual engine experience no hassle no grief simple tap and charge which is how it should be um, but I like this system it is nice you know the adding it onto your domestic bill is, is a nice way of paying really um, the good thing is the charge for this now I don't know if it will be the same when other companies sign up but certainly with Engine if you pay by contactless it's 36 pence per kilowatt hour if you pay with their app or start it through their app or the website 36 pence per kilowatt hour if you use your octopus electric juice card 36 pence per kilowatt hour so you're not penalized depending on which payment method you use bp take note um so it's a very user-friendly experience whatever method you use you pay the same and uh yeah very simple really impressed with that so we only actually need to add 10 percent to get home but i'm going to add 30 percent because i want to get home with a good uh, charge left in the car i want to get there with more than 20 percent left preferably so we're going to add about 30 percent um yeah and then get on our way once we're on the way home i'll come back with just a little round up and a discussion about thoughts on the electric juice experience and uh yeah talk to you then so there you have it octopus electric juice how simple was that um i know it's just another rfid tag um i like the idea behind it i like the concept of getting loads of charging companies on board billing it to your home electricity account which is useful um, I guess some people might not like that but I've, I think it's quite a nice feature however I am reminded of an old comic strip that I read um, a while ago and I've seen again recently online if I can find it I'll paste it in over the top of this but it's just a little three panel comic strip where in the first panel two little stick men talking the first one says um, this is absolutely shocking we've got 14 different standards then in the second panel he says I've had a brilliant idea I've come up with a, a way of fixing that that will be everybody can do this we'll get rid of all these competing standards and we'll make it simpler for everybody and then in the third panel he says this is ridiculous we've got 15 competing standards um, which kind of seems appropriate for this in that this basically lives or dies on the companies that sign up to it at the moment unless you're in very specific areas with franklin energy or chargely basically it's engineer at the moment now, it's only in beta trial it's not a criticism as such because i'm sure they're going to get more companies on board but if they don't get all of them or at least most of them including the big players particularly the big players 
really we're just going to end up with another RFID card um, you know so hopefully they'll all sign up but I mean it really needs I mean when you think about it the main ones are and oh, most of these are reluctant or have a history of being reluctant to sign up to these kind of services but if it's really going to be a huge success what we need is BP Polar Shell Ionity um, Ecotricity some people still use them uh, obviously Ingenie Instavolt um, Fastned I think that's all the main ones that spring to mind. You could throw in uh, Pod Point and Genie, Genie Point, not Engenie. Um But you know, if they don't get all of those on board, then you're still going to need a big pile of cards. Um, so it would be nice to see them all get on board. But some of them, and BP springs to mind as a particular example of a history of being very reluctant to let other people access their service. Now what also is important, as I mentioned with the Ingenie one, is there's no charge on top. You're not paying more for the privilege of using Octopus Energy, you know, for your billing system. You're paying the same however you pay at Ingenie, whether you pay with your contactless card, the Ingenie app, electric juice, whatever. Um, it, it's the same price and that's what we need from all of them you know there's no point in getting ionity on board if the already ridiculous price gets an extra 10 pence per kilowatt hour added on to it um, so it needs to be at least as competitive as paying directly with the with the company so that's the first thing i would say you know is that it, it really needs that to happen um, second thing, um, I'll just go off on a slight segue. Uh, it was it was a nice charge. We got forty three kilowatts into the car. I'll drop in this little screenshot over there, which shows you the power that was going into the car. Which interestingly gives you a little teaser for an upcoming video I have. Uh, anyone that's eagle eyed will recognise the app that this screenshot is from but you probably won't recognise the screenshot. Um, so I have been trialling a new feature and I will be releasing a video fairly soon showing what's what's coming in the not too distant future for the iPace on this particular app. Um, that's my speed camera warning system. I don't know why it suddenly decided to go to that volume. Um, so that's the first thing, but yeah, the, point I was making was we were getting 43 kilowatts and we were getting that right the way up to the end of charge at 76% so it was continuous and briefly dropped to 42.4 and then went back up to 43.9 and stayed at that for the whole charging session right up to 76% which is uh, really quite impressive um, when you factor in obviously it was a 50 kilowatt charger you have to factor in about a 10% efficiency loss in the charging process for a rapid charger. So that drops it to about 45 kilowatts. We had the car on because we were watching a documentary while we were charging. Um, so the AC was running. So that's another one or two kilowatts being used. So basically, we were getting a 50 kilowatt charge because that, that screenshot there was showing the power going into the battery, not the power that the charger was delivering. So, that charger was basically delivering 50 kilowatts to us right through that charge, which is really nice. The iPace is really good on 50 kilowatt chargers in terms of maintaining the, the, the charging speed to a high state of charge. Um, we all know there are discussions, and you've seen uh, videos on faster chargers where it's not as fast as it perhaps should be but on 50 kilowatts it's very nice um, also while I was there just as I was 2% from unplugging um, a black eye pace drew in and uh, waited for the charger so I was chatting to him he'd come all the way up from Sunderland and was just stopping for a quick charge 
uh, well, some dinner on the charge and then continue on his way. Um, loves the car, absolutely loves the car. And yeah, it's just nice got into a little bit of a chat with him. I quite like the way charging stations kind of turn into little social events sometimes. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's uh, a little summary of my charging experience, uh, a little summary of the Octopus Electric Juice uh, system. As I say, I can't show you my uh, electricity bill because I'll have to wait quite a while for that to, you know, to be produced. But um, I'll show you that this is the Octopus one that they've shown a video of as, as their example. Um, and you, you know, you can see how it will work. It will show on your electricity bill as a, a rapid charging session. Um, and it will get taken off your balance or your direct debit or whatever for your, um, for your electricity bill. So, all in all, nice simple system, very easy to start. Once they can get multiple charging companies on board, cross fingers, or as my weird foreign wife would say, hold thumbs. Um, ow. Uh, as long as they can get multiple companies on board, then that one card becomes your gateway to your charging, which is uh, which makes life a lot easier. And then, if if only one or two companies don't sign up, to, it becomes a lot easier just to avoid those companies. Oh, I forgot to charge your car and charge place Scotland in that little uh, list of companies that need to sign up to it as well. Um, but yeah, so all in all. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, if you have and if you decide to sign up for Octopus, if you're not already an Octopus customer, use my link down below and you'll get 50 quid credited to your account and I'll get 50 quid credited to my account, which I can now choose to use to pay for my charging when I'm making these videos. So in a way, you'd be sponsoring the channel. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it's a useful system? Do you not see the point? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you wish it wasn't built through your electricity supply uh, account? Basically, what's your feelings? As usual, I'll respond to everything except personal abuse. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's hugely helpful for the channel. And if you're enjoying my content generally, then do please subscribe. Again, that helps the channel quite a lot. Um, if you do want to subscribe, you can do that right now by clicking on my ugly little face over there. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos like this one up here. So, until next time, this is Abu Dhabi Dude saying so long, take care, see you soon. Bye! Abu Dhabi Dude!